So this is Odaiva. We should meet with the other members here. There's even a stadium here. Coach Black will probably be there waiting for us, I suppose. There's a week to go until the first game of the FFI Vision 2. In this state, we still have to train hard. And for that, we even have a training ground. I'm worried. Has Coach Black any idea what he's doing? Is he really serious? I don't know that. At the moment, we should just go to the training ground. Let's go. Come on then. And with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. That's pretty good news that we're already underway with this project, but even better news is that we've unlocked the Inner Link! Woo! Always one of my favorite parts of the game. I love the Inner Link, and there's not going to be a great deal to see, but the fact that I'm showing the Inner Link before we have even exited the train station and had our second instance of free movement since we were talking to the likes of Sol and Bailong as they got rejected from Inazuma National in the previous episode. Yeah, we'll um, we'll just do that very quickly. I mean, it's only going to be Conroy Sheepwood and Arian Sherwind at the moment. But yeah, we'll look at the inner link gradually as the game progresses because it's such a funny thing. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of all of the previous games, especially Chrono Sons and Go Light. And it's been, well, I would hope, translated to a standard that lets you all enjoy the humor that the that the original developers were going for. So right now we're in the train station and what we want to do is head to uh, Odaiba's training ground. Odaiba is a real location in Japan. That's not like a fictional thing for Inazuma or anything. We're actually uh, in a specific location for this game. There is a shop over here to the right as well that you can buy from, but it's got really nothing of great use. So we will instead uh, hop out the front door and have a look at the surrounding area. Because what a beautiful sight this is. We're already greeted by brand new music, but look in the back as well. There's so much going on here. It looks great in 3D as well. I am recording on, an, on a Nintendo 2DS capture board, so that means I'm not emulating, but I also can't exactly look in 3D. But what we can look at is Trina. Hey, that's Trina! Ah! That there... Not the best start for you, is it, darling? But <laughs> off she goes. So she's going to be our directional indicator to say that, yes, uh, the Odaiba football stadium is off to the right. We didn't need to put uh, Trina flat on her face to do that, I don't think. But we're not going to head there straight away. I mean, I'm not going to take the mickey or anything. But um, you can actually have a chat with the different NPCs around the football gardens in the central square. And this one to your immediate left actually gives you a conversation topic. And these kind of things are useful for recruiting players in the future, so I generally try to talk to every uh, NPC that I come across uh, in a new area. So we'll have a little meander around here, but obviously you want to go to the right to actually advance the story. The main thing I want to show off is that the first treasure chest you can come across in the whole game is not even possible to open <laughs> because it's a silver chest that you need a specific key to open. Thank you for that. But this is mainly just tutorial talk to say, oh, you can keep an eye out for uh, football battles on the bottom screen. And I'm an NPC talking to for the sake of being talked to. Um, you you can go up here to get yourself an item. You certainly can't leave this screen like if I were to go up here. Uh, the stadium isn't this way. Look at this. The Riverside Cafe's in, in English. I think that was there since... Uh, since the original source material, but you know, it's just one of those things that I noticed, like I spent so long just wandering around here on my first playthrough of Go Galaxy late last year on the uh, developer version of the game, because Chrono Stones came out in 2015. I'm recording this Let's Play in 2021, and I first played it in 2020, but either way, that is a gap of like five years between new Inazuma games. We waited a long time for this one. Uh, but we've got a new screen that we can uh, investigate in front of the training area as well. And there's just so much you can do to just enjoy being in a brand new game here. Um, again, let's let's not go too far, but just look at this. 
We can walk into a football and dribble it around the overworld. How did it take six games to have this idea, but you can just pick up a football and take it around with you? Such a nice little idea that I had no idea was going to be there. You can't speak to people or open treasure chests until you've gotten rid of the ball, but we definitely want that treasure chest because it contains log roll. In loving memory of Adekebe, who did not get picked for Inazuma National in what might well be the biggest robbery of all time. Uh, <laughs> there is a training course. Uh, yeah, there's two training pitches off there to the left. We'll just head into the training area if you needed to heal. We, of course, have a training spot here. There is another silver chest just to say, hey, you need to play the game more if you want to open this stuff. Let's just head in because all of the rest of our team are going to be waiting here. And after the embarrassing loss to Royal Academy, um, there's, uh, <laughs> well, lots to be said. But the main thing is we need to actually meet our players because at most we know their names and their position. And that's about it. So, you know, let's have a word and see what they've got to say for themselves. So this is Odaiba's football stadium. It seems that everyone's here already. Let's go and say hi. And this will put us in a chat lock. So this is our chance to speak to everybody on the team one by one in any order. Um, kind of our scene where we were meeting all the candidates in Inazuma 3, except this time they're not candidates, they're actually part of the team. So Terry we're perhaps most familiar with as our goalkeeper, so let's start here. Of course, all voice acting for these scenes. He introduced himself as Ibuki, which of course would be his Japanese name. I'll try and make sure I've used everyone's at least once for those who are unfamiliar. I will be using dub names for the duration of this Let's Play, of course. But even if you hear in dialogue Tenma, you know, that's Aryan. Shindo, that would be Ricardo. And Surugi, the Japanese word for literally sword, means Victor Blade. For now, let's talk to Buddy or Kusaka. Well, thanks for cutting to the chase, mate. Hi, I'm Buddy Fury, and I don't play any sports whatsoever. Uh, maybe this guy will be a little better. We're actually also seeing them in their regular kits at the moment. Um, Buddy's kit was for nowhere in particular. Um, that's just an original school for Go Galaxy. But Terry was wearing the kit for Lunacy Military Academy. Is that actually the goalkeeper kit though? I can't quite remember if he's wearing uh, the upfront kit or the goalkeeper kit. But over here, uh, this kit, for example, this is Minaho. And he is wearing the kit for... Milky Way Charter. Bokuはミナホカズと見たところこのチームでは僕が頭担当になるね。サッカーの経歴は初めてだね。いわゆる初心者ってやつかな。そう。よろしく。よろしく。面白くなりそうだよ。<笑> Well, he may belong to an unspectacular school, but I love his name, Keenan Sharp. He's keen and sharp. And what's my second name? Also Sharp. More the Jude Sharp spelling than uh, <laughs> Sharp with an E on the end. Sharp with an E counts as a misspelling uh, if you're trying to spell mine. But here, I'm very glad to have at least met this Keenan Sharp guy. Just hope he uh, knows anything about playing football. Now this kit is really interesting, we'll talk about this afterwards, but this is Nozaki Sakura, otherwise known as Cherise Blossom. I 
guess rhythmic gymnastics might be kind of on the right track. I guess basketball's our closest so far, but this kit is Mary Times, Hurley Kane's school from Inazuma 11-2. They called back to the second game just to put this girl as a student there. I think that's magnificent. And there's actually another instance of this too. If we go and talk to Trina or uh, Morimura Konoha, Konoha is literally Japanese for leaf, so hence Trina, tree, it's kind of clear what they're going for already. <laughs> Well, you couldn't even see her kit because it was coming from, uh, well, she was too short to actually peek over the text box. But let me tell you, it's Cloister Divinity, the school that Scott Banyan and all of his training compatriots come from. Again, in an Inazuma 11 2 reference. That's so cool that they referenced it, and you wouldn't expect someone like Trina to come from there, but I love just the fact that she is. Meanwhile, let's represent one of the worst schools in Inazuma 11 history with this guy, Tetsukado Shin, or Frank Foreman. <laughs> So we've got a boxer on the squad. No wonder he represents Almighty Faith, still keeping all of the violence going. Um, but I'm sure this guy plays boxing fair and square, but he's not exactly being fair to us right now. He seems wildly uninterested in conversation, so we'll just leave him to it, I guess. Now we have... Manabe. Zippy Learner, um, perhaps one of the more widely criticised dub names on this team. It's it's pretty blatant, but when you've got ones that are on the level of Keenan Sharp, you know, I can certainly forgive. Um, it took a lot of adjusting to, but now, yeah, I'm willing to give this guy Zippy Learner a chance. His name, Zippy Learner, position defence. Hello. That's his greeting. Do you want to give us a little more than that, buddy? Perhaps you shouldn't have given us any more. Your football skills are at 0%. Oh dear. At least his hair colour's nice. そうなんだ。え、頼むね。え、サッカーは全て計算で分析可能です。公式さえ分かれば簡単なものですよ。Football is just like mathematics, and with that, I'm never playing football ever again. Unsurprisingly, this guy's from Prodigy Grammar. <laughs> He's fitting every single stereotype box he could possibly tick already, but, um, well, we'll see what he's like on the pitch when we actually get a chance. Finally, let's talk to this guy, Falco Flashman, or Matatagi Hayato, representing, uh, Pirates Cove Merchant Marine Academy, would you believe? I can't believe I'm doing this. Should this really be our new team? Right, they're all beginners. Who thought they would make a good team? That would be me. Coach Black! And in a Zoom 11 3 music! So happy to hear this, I have to cut in with that one. Hype as heck. Looks like they're all here. That's right. Good. Team, may I introduce the manager of Inazuma National? My name is Glacier Vessel. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. And there's the second manager, 
Don't you want to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Sky Blue. Nice to meet you. I also got a new haircut. Sky, you were hired as a manager. I didn't know that. I myself was quite surprised when Coach Black called. No doubt, but it's nice to have you back on the team, Sky. Yes, let's be world champions. That'll be all. Time for practice, team. We still have a long way to go. Go Galaxy just defying traditions once again. Only two managers and 11 players. Keeping it small here. Oh. Hmm. Well, everyone's uh, got something to say about this news, but it's not necessarily worth reading out. Positive, that counts as a word. So, Inazuma National, let's get started. Change your clothes and come back here so we can start training. Got it. Yeah, so that's what, that was our last chance in the game to see all of these guys in their native uniforms. But again, love the representation for Mary Times and Cloister Divinity, alongside all the other teams from Go One. Enough dawdling around. Time to train. So we've met the team and we will at least do a bit of practicing here in this second part. Of course, we're going to want to check the inner link though, because this is when we can actually get some of the other players involved. And look at this. Who's going to be the first person in this YouTube video to say first? You can't beat Charisse and Keen into the post because they actually did it within the context of the video. But this is an open opportunity from Let's Play A Tale of the Toaster to leave a first comment down below. Just go for it. Therese is also trying to do some emotes, but um, without Rosie Red on the inner link at the moment, we can't really do that, unfortunately, so it's just um, kind of broken. But hey-ho, this is our little dressing room. It's got absolutely nothing in it other than a photograph of some coloured footballs. Just like the conversation topics with the NPCs in the overworld, there are many, many things in each room that you can just take pictures of and then those also become recruitment items as they go along. So we'll head back into the training room, but the last, the last thing you need to know, this guy's actually a hidden roadblock. You can't talk to the other guy here that's on the other side. He's pretty important. He's got some great gameplay features to him, but we can't talk to him next uh, now, thanks to a cleverly placed NPC. So let's instead head to the pitch and we'll do some training because we have mathematicians we have boxers we have basketballers and rhythmic gymnasts can they play football like at all i sure hope so i see we've all assembled let's get going Guys, it's important to be in good shape. Let's go. Trina, you've already fallen over twice in this episode. Get up and train with us. That's definitely not what Arian would say whatsoever, but you know, he's being encouraging. Go on. Oh, you've tripped over three times in one episode. This is going to be your thing, is it? sure that what you're doing will work, coach? I like to talk in dots a lot of the time. This team is far below the level of the tournament. Well, it will certainly be interesting. Team, it's time for a break! Good work, Falco. You're unbelievably fast, although I wouldn't expect any less from an athletics runner. <laughs> Cheers. Running is my specialty, after all. It really shows. You might be our fastest player. Maybe you can develop one of those special techniques. Develop a special technique? Do you think so? Yeah, but we're still going to have to work hard. Let's get stronger together. Mm-hmm. Cool. See you later, Falco. Arian Sherwind, you can't be trusted. Now it's back to training. 
You will now get to play a football battle against this team. What is this? Um, what is a football battle? You're not serious, are you? That much is obvious. Yeah, I've got to admit, <laughs> we're playing a football battle. I mean, the actual difference is that a football match is 11 players with 60 minutes, and a football battle is first to score five player teams. So let's just have a tutorial of our second instance of football in the game. We can access tactics as well to uh, alter the formation, but I will just run in with what the game recommends because we only have special moves on, at the moment, technically four players. Arian, Ricardo and Victor have their moves and they can use uh, their fighting spirits outside of main matches if they really want to achieve things. Buddy has a dribbling move as well, I guess, but... Um, scoring is going to be one of the main things when it comes to doing one of these football battles. So let's just um, stick with the main three for now. Because, you know, this is meant to be teaching us how to play football, right? Not how to teach the other inexperienced players. We still get the Seaside Stadium uh, graphic for this five-a-side match. It is telling us that, yes, we can use our fighting spirits uh, outside of the main matches. And... Because Ricardo, Arian, and Victor had already learned to armor fire them in previous games, we can do that. Should I do that for this tutorial? I guess that makes sense because, again, they're totally banned within the actual story relevant matches. But um, for the sake of it, sure, let's bring out Ricardo and his fighting spirit of Maestro. So we can use it to completely cheese all the easiest matches in the game, and we can use them. Uh, in certain competition routes once we're introduced to that as a concept. But if you run into another player with a fighting spirit, I'm sure this is familiar territory for anyone who's played the previous two games, but we're just super powered. They stood no chance of, uh, of stopping us with that one. And Ricardo has a fighting spirit with a shooting move. They can either have uh, one shot, uh, a defensive move, a dribbling move, or a block. Ricardo has atomic harmonic, a shooting move, and also... All of these Fighting Spirit shooting moves have been buffed from Chrono Stones into Galaxy to make regular spirits a bit more useful in comparison to Armor Fire, which we'll show off some other time. We have 407 power. That's quite a lot. <laughs> and if we could still use these in the actual FFI Vision 2 matches, then we'd probably be fine. But it's been outlawed for a reason. They are stupidly strong, easy win buttons at this point of the game. Uh, and I'll generally be avoiding using them for the most part. All right, did you get a grasp of a football battle? You should play a lot of football battles to become stronger. Apart from that, it's good practice, and it's fun too. Yes. It's also telling us what money is. Prestige points is the name for money. You'll have to train a lot to become world champions. More training? Oh... That's enough for today. Mamma mia. You should get dressed and go to your dormitory room. Each of the dorms is already prepared, so you don't have to worry about anything else. I'll take care of you all. And uh, this is, I guess, the moment to mention. Yes, we can heal uh, to restore FP and TP if ever we see one of those sites. It's just worth clicking on whenever you walk past one. Because... You've usually um, got some healing to do, but I would say to close this episode off, it's already been a pretty long one, but uh, going to sleep in the dorms seems like a good way to end. So in a link, if you want to skip to the bottom of the conversation, you can enter the conversation and then close it and then go back in and it will all be loaded. But I do like letting it uh, load for itself. It's certainly uh, a good way to keep up with the conversation and the natural pace that things were meant to be said in. Um, but yes, so it's time for bed to bring an episode to part two. The dorms are clearly signaled on the bottom screen. Again, if you ever don't know where to do where to go, Inazuma 11 makes it pretty difficult to not know where to go. The purple arrows are always there. I, th I can think the only times where there's ever not been a clear indication of where to go is either when you're looking for the Inazuma veterans in the first game 
or when you're trying to do the Argentinian camp's uh, manhole mystery in the third game. But yeah, this game will definitely not leave you in any situations like that. And meanwhile, this area looks splendid. We've got another football pitch here and sunshine, the football garden. Uh, yes, and we've even got, as if he tells us, a coastal area next to the pitch, which means a lot to Frank, apparently. This is the gate of the home area. Everyone, let's go. So there will be plenty of chances to look around this area, but it's still just extremely pleasant to see that we've got uh, treasure chests for the boat boots. There's actual matches against other football teams that we could be doing. There's presumably photo opportunities. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have plenty of opportunities to come here in the future. So let's just head into the dorms. introduce you to Andrea Bruchel. She's the supervisor here. Just call me Auntie Andrea. Oh my goodness, the team is completely sweaty and covered with dirt. Come on, I'll take you to your dorm. You can take your luggage with you. I'll leave it here. There you can rest. And in the meantime, Auntie Andrea will make you all some dinner. Um, thank you very much. Arian, Ricardo, I'd like to talk to you about something. You guys go ahead. We'll follow then. All right, we will. Have fun, Captain, Ricardo and Victor. So the dorms are there to be investigated, but we'll um, just see what Victor has to say uh, as we all go to sleep and say goodbye for another day. Um, there's, it's a really expansive area. There's another shop that we could buy from in that particular area. Um, if you go into the other dorms, I believe all the other players are actually sat in here for some conversations as well. Um, and you can talk to them all one by one and see what they're saying. They also have um, things to take photos of in most of these rooms, I believe. Um, nothing to stop us from just heading in here and taking a cheeky pic of, uh, you know, Frank's poster, the big catch flag. Um, do you, yeah, you've got a picture of a Tenka warrior. We're learning more and more about these people um, as we go and snoop into their dorms. So we'll go into Arian's last, of course. I, I mean, I'm assuming that Arian, Victor, and Ricardo all share the same dorm. Um, <laughs> yeah, just subtlety there. I mean, this is how NPCs should respond when you invade on their personal space like this. Just, I have no business coming in here. Um, you should reserve the right to tell me to get out. Uh, they're pretty much all saying this, like, yeah, we're, we're on a team with these guys, but they don't really know us next yet. Uh, they're, they're not obliged to like us. We're still gonna, still gonna take a picture of Keenan's globe real fast, because I guess that's one of his, uh, interests. But we'll head into the other dorm, so I guess we're probably gonna be invading on the girls' dorm next. These pigeons are <laughs> confessing their love to each other, according to the human, and they actually just, I want some beans! Something possessed me to say that in Lucian Dark's voice! I wonder why! Trina doesn't even know that we're here, but we'll just uh, <laughs> take this elephant with us and have a little word with Charisse. Hey, Captain, you can't just go into a lady's room like that without permission. I mean, I agree, but you just had this really valuable... Excuse me, picture of a hula hoop. <laughs> Can I get some hula hoops right now? The, the crisps? I don't know if you've got that in countries other than the UK, but salt and vinegar hula hoops, the most underappreciated crisps in history. Tesco, why do you only sell ready salted and barbecue beef? The salt and vinegar ones are the best by far. But anyway, let's complain about this team with Ricardo and Victor, and then we'll go to sleep. So these are the accommodations. A diver is great. I'm so excited. Hey, it's better to go to our meeting after dinner. Yes, you're right. Let's meet at the stadium once we're done with dinner. How do you... Okay. The three Ryman players are approaching. 
They seem to be having fun. I see what you mean. But one of them is pretty upset. Coach Black, you can see very well that this team can't win in this state. The decision has been made. These players have special abilities, Ricardo. Special abilities? What are they talking about with the coach all the time? Coach, please explain to us the reason for choosing these eight players. It's clear that they are useless. Coach, we three will play alone, separately from the others. Three people? Victor's taking the attack. Ari in the midfielding, and I will be the defense. And we don't need the goalkeeper either. I will stop every shot myself. Suit yourself. But Ricardo, there are only three of us. The coach plays dirty. He doesn't care. But you care, don't you, Arian? Open your eyes. With these beginners playing, we'll never win. You've got to be kidding me! Terry! What the heck, Ricardo? I'm the goalkeeper of this team, whether you like it or not. Understood? Don't make me laugh. You're an amateur. What? I'll show you, Ricardo. I'll stop every ball thrown at me. That's right. Hey, Victor, let's get some exercise done together. No, I'll do it. What? I need you to stop my shots first. If you can't do that, there's no way you can stop Victor's shots. All right. What are you dawdling around for? Go use a special technique. I'll stop it. No, you won't. Ah, that's good. Let's go. Keep shooting. Ricardo. Terry, 